remember, VVV Gaming last season was in the Pro Division. They were forced down into the Pro Placement Tournament and didn't earn their way back in, but had the chance to go back into Maine and try and fight to get into playoffs, which would put them in contention uh, to try and make it into the, uh, the Pro Division once again if they can get back into the Pro Placement Tournament and win their way through it. Yeah, we'll see. Um, so let's just uh, take a look here and see how things are going to start out. Nothing, you know, too fancy right off the bat. VVV just kind of setting up some smoke on the A-bombs. They're looking to try to get a plan. It is a retake A setup for Quintic, so there's a chance here for, for the bomb to get planned for VVV. Entry's already coming out. That's going to be FGB able to take down uh, Fierce. Fierce's, I guess is how we're going to say it. Fierce's. Want to just do Fierce? Fierce works for me. Yeah, we're just going to go like Fierce. It. But they did get the bomb planted. That is going to be BBB. That's FGB with another one before he finally goes down. We lose double, and Nitro now it's all up to Cube. Cube is going to be the last man standing. He ends up going down to Wrath, so that will be Quintic. Kool-Aid picking up a big 4K for himself, and Quintic taking away the CT pistol from VVV Gaming. Yeah, I mean, really well done. VVV just running a pistol around strat you see quite often, uh, even at pro level play, just getting those smokes on jungle and stairs. No smoke for uh, CT spawn, so you actually have to attack into it and win those duels over there. Uh, just didn't quite work out for VVV all the way through, but they did get the bomb plant, so they can, you know, basically take uh, a small purchase here. Not, not you know, the crazy armor tech nine buy, but just a couple of graded pistols and be able to get AKs next round, and I guess pose a threat a little bit earlier. You see, I still see a lot of people getting SMGs for Quintic though, knowing that AKs are coming next round. So that's a bit odd, but uh, see them just cleaning this up pretty easily, it seems. Yeah, Kool-Aid already out in mid, able to take down two. They actually make that three. Fierce tries to push up, ends up mopping up JVW and Nitro. So Quinnick will get that anti-eco round in their favor also. That's going to be two to zero for Quinnick. Right, and uh, I guess we're just going to hold on to these SMGs, not going to upgrade. Didn't even really see a whole lot of kills come off SMGs. I think most of them came off of Kool-Aid's M4, if I'm not mistaken. So... They're going to be stuck with uh, three SMGs up against a bunch of AKs and a Galil, so this could be a little bit of a problem here for Quintic. That's why you usually see teams just kind of FAMAS up if a first round bomb plant goes down, uh, which Pollen did, uh, but that's about it. And we are going to see VVV setting up, I guess, pretty default here. Two back mid passive looking for aggression, two up by upper being underpass, and then one at A. So this is very default setup, looking to get mid control here. VVV Gaming onto that early buy thanks to the fact that they got the bomb planted in the first round. Didn't spend any money or very little money in second round, so now they have guns up here. They're going against um, three rifles, two SMGs, and uh, they have the advantage here with the AKs. Even though they're rocking one Galil, that's going to be double mm -hmm. with the Galil. Going to try and work that into some frags if he's able to. VVV would love to steal away this third round and get, uh, get the momentum swinging back in their favor right off the bat. And they have some great mid control. They're going to leave Nitro where he is, uh, and he's just going to cut off rotates. And they're going to gather up here at A ramp. They also have one inside pile. So just going to try to hit this. And yeah, double. Should have taken the. He's normally their opera, so he wants to take a lesser purchase to maybe get that op out a little bit later. But here comes the actual execute on the A bomb site now. So Quinnick going to try and stand up here at the A bomb site. So far, they're able to hold on. That's fierce in Poland. Able to make that happen. And I'm pretty sure it is Poland. Last time I casted him, I think what we decided on. Okay. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, if right. anybody in chat knows if it is actually supposed to be Poland or Poland, correct us so we don't mispronounce his name all night. But yeah, Quinnick grabs that round. They prevent VVV from getting a bomb plan or the early buy victory, and that'll be Quinnick up 3-0. to zero. I'm surprised that didn't go so well. I mean, they had such good map control on VVV with Nitro still in mid. They were coming on A ramp quite nicely, but, I mean, you just saw all three A defenders or people towards A for Quintic be able to win their 1v1 duels in their respective positions. Uh, Kool-Aid at Connector, and you just saw them defending the A ramp as well. So, well done, VVV. Just forces the pistol up, and it looks like they are just going to do a straight-up upper B rush. How's that? Yeah, I mean, the rush comes in here for Quintic, uh, able to shut it down there. Bomb is down as well, so BBB just kind of throwing this one away. To be expected, they didn't really have too much invested into it here, so that's uh, great news for Quintic as they'll be able to get up 4-0. to zero. As uh, BBV here has, you know, kind of mixed money, but enough to be able to do a full purchase the way they want, so we should be good to go now. Yeah, so now we're going to get into round five. VVV Gaming is going to be buying up here. As Dust just said, they pretty much just threw that round away just to get through it so they get back into a gun round. Now their gun's up across the board here. Quintic with the advantage round-wise. All of their players are fully geared out. No op comes out for either team, though. So VVV going to try and do uh, smoke strat here towards that A-bomb site. 
have that man in mid either lurk it out or try and force his way up to catch those rotators off of catwalk if they ever come. Yeah, I mean, they had mid control on their initial gun round as well like this, and they couldn't really do much with it. They couldn't even get up a ramp without getting any entries. So let's see if they can do better this time around as the counter nades are coming out from Quincy because they have made their way up the a ramp as well. Poland with a nice pop flash, able to step down and take down JW or JVW, excuse me. But double and Nitro will answer, answer until double gets traded out very fast. FGV going to be in the argument also, but Nitro on that lurk, trying to make his way up through the connector, ends up going down. It'll be a two on two, two man retake at this A bomb site. And Fierce really missed the opportunity there. There was a big gap in the smoke, and the bomb was planted open, so we actually could have stopped that from going down, but he didn't catch on to it. But they're still going to try to do the retake here. Now it's back into a one versus one, and it's going to be one there by, I guess, we're going with Nom, right? Is that? Yeah. Is that, okay. I, I, we're just going to go with Nom. <laughs> Nom has been diffused. <laughs> Alright, that's where we're going to go with. But, I mean, this is pretty nuts that VV haven't punched around in yet. I, I think there was two rounds. But I felt like they had, like, a decent edge on the, on the control that they had of the map, but they just can't find the kills. I mean, is that kind of kind of what you're seeing, too? Uh, I'm having a hard time reading this one. I'm surprised they haven't had any success yet. Uh, they're just not able to just hold out. Uh, the shots are just going all in favor of Quintic, and, and I mean, right now, Kool-Aid, what is he, 10-1? 10-1-1? Yeah, he's, uh, he's kind of dominating a little bit here. Nobody on the VVV gaming side has more than three kills. The only one there is going to be FGB. We still have JVW without a frag to his name. And uh, VVV Gaming just struggling to find the shots that they need. I mean, you can't get the shots, you can't get the entries, you're never going to be able to get in that site and secure it, and the retakes are going very well for Quintic. Yeah, I mean, they're giving up mid, but they're playing the site so well here on Quintic. They're, they're getting all the duels and, and you know, getting the frags, and so good stuff here. VVV trying to do the smoke strat again over at the A-bomb site. Quintic, no one really in the site just yet, so maybe they can get another bomb plan out of this? The only person that was there was Poland, and he's already out of the way. So now BBB is getting some good entries that just have to hold on, and JVW looks like he is lagging extremely hard. And uh, doesn't matter, FGB and company will be able to earn their way into this bomb site. Only one left, that's going to be Nom. He gets a frag before he's traded out by FGB. So FGB gets himself a 3k and gives a VVV Gaming their first round. Yeah, I mean, finally they're able to punch one in there. I mean, I feel like they've had a lot of good executes, but they finally were able to hold off the retake this time around. As you had kind of noted, uh, they were having trouble holding in the post plant throughout much of this half. You know, people like Kool-Aid and Wrath have just had some really solid retakes on the day bomb site. But finally, it was VVVs. And so now they need to worry about their money being reset, however. Uh, that's kind of the, the next thing they got to worry about. And we see a lot of mid-aggression here coming from Quintic. FGB should be able to pick up one, if not both of those. The third player, Fierce, comes in through the connector to prevent FGB from getting uh, any more damage onto his teammates. And we're actually going to be evened out now. No, we're going to be three on two, actually, in favor of Quintic. As we have JVW and Nitro left alive. And if you guys remember, that is not... That's the second Nitro, not the Nitro you guys know from, uh, from Liquid. That's, I believe that is the Nitro that was on Ace Gaming and I think also on... What was the other the God the one where they had harmless. like the like, Yeah, the one that had like the Jets yeah. logo, like the, yeah. the Canadian. Jets. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that now. I'm yeah, pretty sure that's, that's the same nitro. But Yes it is. Nom is gonna shut that round down right at the end. That'll be Quintic up six to one, and the reset dust was talking about just happened. So now VVV without any economy here except for FGB. And uh, he's just gonna even his money out a little bit and drop some pistols. Yeah, I mean that was uh, that was like looking really good for you at first. Like we saw the mid aggression come out from Quintic. It actually didn't go that well. It was only an even exchange. Uh, so that's not what you want as a CT but an aggressive. You want to try to get an edge, and they didn't. But what really happened there was Nam. Uh, winning a big 1v1 duel in upper B to get it into a 3 versus 2 despite the fact that the mid aggression didn't work out so well he really recovered it there for his team and yeah the money reset comes in VVV just on pistols Kool-Aid already with an initial pick here and I mean VVV just every round trying to say bomb site they've only been successful once so far on this side it's gonna be Quintic now just controlling this round 8 they know where the final T is that's gonna be double steps out with the rec 9 Gets one before Poland trades him. But, I mean, Quintic already up fast. They're up 7-1 to one as we hit round 9. And VVV is struggling here from the T side. Mm -hmm. But they are going to get an off now in the hands of Nitro. So let's see if that can help out. Yeah, I, I remember double you stopped, so I'm not sure if Nitro's going to drop it to him at some point here. If he, Nitro's just got like a really good spawn, or if he is in fact his team's offer, but uh, yeah, he's going to hold on to it here. And they are going to be heading over towards mid with three players, two trying to go towards upper B, but a lot of lag going on. Q even gets blocked, and mid comes out again here from Quintic. 
Nitro does find an off shot before he goes down. That's going to be Fierce and Wrath out in mid. That mid aggression paid off for him. They rotate away in time. They're going to be looking down into connector. JDW is going to try to step up to remove Fierce. Will get it. But Wrath was there off of Catwalk for the trade out. And that'll be 8 to 1 in favor of Quintic now. Mm -hmm. At this point, VVV Gaming is on that three round loss bonus. So not quite to max yet. As you can yeah. see from their economy, it's not good. Yeah, not at all. And I mean, that's the second time Quinnex tried that push mid. The first time didn't really work out so well, but Nam still bailed them out with a good upper B defense. But that time around, it worked wonders. I mean, they just pressed it. They killed all three players back mid there. I think they only lost one player in that trade as well. So really efficient. You could tell. Uh, I could hear the in-game comments anyway. VVV were very upset with that, that they just got mopped. And you can't blame them. But now they're just going to be on pistols again, looking to attack this A bomb site. Uh, but there's definitely some people in position to deal with this. Be fierce opens this round up for Quintic. Takes on JBW with Nitro quick to answer, removing Kool Aid before he gets caught. We actually have Wrath, so good trades are coming out here from the pistol and VVV Gaming. But uh, they're going to be three on three. They haven't been able to retrieve any of the rifles they've dropped, not in locations where they can easily get them. Mm -hmm. So VVV Gaming going to have to rotate with the bomb towards that B bomb site. Yeah, they're going to try to get in there, and I mean, Nam's kind of bouncing back and forth between Sight and Cat, so maybe if they hit like a great timing window, they might be able to slip in and get into B, but now that Fierce is kind of able to just kind of deal with Connector, that allows Nam to just slip back into Van, but he's got, you know, he's got to hold this off. Fierce does take down double, that was the man at the A bomb site, and now that they know, as I mean, Nam right there around the corner, he's able to take that FGB, can he stay up long enough to prevent Cubed? And he does cause enough trouble that Q has to try and fake the plant to get uh, Poland down. But he does work this into a one-on-one. -on -one. Hasn't got the bomb yet. Fakes it one more time. Pierce is right there. Will the Tech-9 win? Mean. Not going to be able to get it done. And that'll be 9-1 to one now for Quintic. Yeah, I mean, really nice try there from Q. I mean, he really timed that out well. He knew that he was in a... A 1v3, it was going to be tough to get the bomb planted, so he does a nice little fake plant to play that into a winnable one versus one situation. In fact, just didn't quite get it, and so that's Quintic taking a really massive lead here. And VVV, they're, they're in a bad way money-wise. They're finally able to full buy again here, but a loss here means a broken buy next round. So you know, they really need to make this one work and avoid another money reset. Otherwise, you're just going to see Quintic kind of run away with this thing as they have established mid-control yet again. No aggression this time from Quintic, so we'll see what they can do with it here. So Quintic without an op yet into this game. VVV Gaming has brought it out, and it is in the hands of Nitro once again. And uh, I think he's only got one op kill before he got traded out the last round that he actually had it. Uh, so let's see if VVV can turn that around here. I mean, the biggest thing is they're just not hitting the shots. Quintic is just outright out shooting them. I feel like JBW is almost like worthless, like not not to make fun of his frags or anything, but he's literally been lagging all over the place this entire game. I'm not even sure what he's even really able to do other than like make calls and stuff like that, because I've literally haven't seen a moment where he wasn't just lagging all over the place. As soon as I say that he gets a kill, but it's a 3v3 here, VVV trying to get this bomb planted inside the B-bomb site. Oh, Kool-Aid sees it. He's able to pick up FGB, looking for JVW, takes him down also. They got the bomb down in the B-bomb site now. It's all up to double. Low HP, Kool-Aid will pick him up. And that's a 4K for Kool-Aid again. And the score will be 10 to 1 in favor of Quintic. Yeah, I mean, if the things don't... <laughs> yeah, this is rough, man. Uh, they are able to get a bit of a broken buy going here. They're not going to have as much utility as they want, and you know they are going to have a guy here stuck on just a Galil. In fact, double uh, sacrifices having really any rifle on a Tech 9 just to make sure he can get those extra flashes and smoke, and they're going to try and execute again. They've had some decent executes here, but they've had a lot of trouble holding off the retake. They've only been successful one time. That's their one round win is off of an A execute. So we'll see how this works as the smokes are out, and here they come. Flashbangs and smokes will come out. They're going to try to enter into this A-bombs like good flashbangs. We'll hold them back for the time being, but double steps up into the bomb site. Same with Cubed. They both find themselves some frags here, so here comes the retake coming out from uh, Quintic. Working the land. Kool-Aid does find a frag right off the bat from CT. Looking to see if he can get another one. Got to be careful. Getting sprayed down. Ends up getting the shot anyways. And, uh, that man, bomb They missed their... Planted. Yeah. They missed their CT spawn smoke. Kool-Aid was just able to step out and, and shoot the guy planning default. And now they're just getting riddled with bullets. It's a two versus three. This is uh, looking rough, man. So it's only going to be cubed and Nitro left alive here. Bomb is going to be down out in the middle of the Zay bomb site. And Quintic knows they have a huge advantage here. All they have to do is just lock down onto this bomb. Make sure that they don't get flanked from anywhere. As Nitro's already out the balcony from Palace. 
Looking to see if he can get an angle on somebody trying to peek, trying to overextend a little bit to even this thing out at a two on two, and he looks Aww. away from CT spawn at the wrong time. Kool-Aid will take him down. Oh, there's only one T left alive. That's cute. Works into the bomb site. Low on HP though, down to 12. And uh, time not in his favor here. He's got to be careful. He knows there's CTs around, and Kool-Aid will get another 4K for himself, and that'll be 11 to 1. Yeah, that's a rough round there for VVV. I mean, at first, Quintic was just kind of throwing bodies at VVV. I mean, they weren't really retaking it together. You saw people just pushing smoke, trying to make individual plays, and it wasn't actually working out. But, again, I think the key there was the fact that the smoke at CT spawn was a bit off, and Kool-Aid was able just to step up and get basically two free frags on the edge of a smoke on the bomb planner and, and a second player, and that was huge to, to lose those guys uh, in the mid-round like that, not even be able to get the bomb planted. Uh, and I lost the bomb in a really awkward space, but FGP, he has caught Kool-Aid here, so VVV, hopefully they can show us a little bit of life here, as they do have an opening pick this round, and they, they really need to desperately win out at this point. Yeah, if they can salvage these last couple of rounds and try and swing this back in their favor, that'll help a little bit. I mean, it's, it's still going to be tough. You're not going to have a lot of room to work with from the CT mm -hmm. side. You drop a pistol round, uh, you're in trouble at that point. Yeah, and they're going to work to an A execute here again. They have a, uh, a player in position over here at mid. It's going to be FGB. He can really cut off the rotate. So they have superior map control at this point with where FGB is positioned. Uh, but they they, need, they have to battle their way through this A bomb site, which they've been results with. And again, trying to take this A bomb site. That is going to be Poland actually off. Will come out. He does end up getting smoked, though. So he ends up going down. And finally, BBB Gaming taking one of these bomb sites. They have a man advantage here. That's just going to be Omnom, or Nom, excuse me, and Wrath left alive versus FGB Double and JVW. There goes JVW, so they evened it up, but at least the bomb is planted this time. Wrath pick up FGB. Yes, he does, and they are not able again to hold the retake off here. And yeah, Wrath will get the final shot wow. off. He's going to get on the bomb, get the easy defuse, and not allow VV Gaming to get themselves a second round yet. Yeah, I mean, they're just, they are just can't hold off these retakes, man. I mean, it didn't help that VV was really low on utility, so they actually didn't even have any smokes up. Like, once they got the bomb planted, everyone rotating had clear vision into the site. You know, they weren't slowed down at all by any types of smokes or flashes or what have you. Uh, and then people just not really playing a good crossfire position. She had one guy push in the window room jungle, one guy push CT spawn, and the dude hiding behind firebox. So literally none of them could play off of each other. Uh, it was a yeah. bunch of 1v1 duels set up there for Quintic, and they won those duels, as they have been pretty much this entire half. So into round 14, guns up in the hands of VVV Gaming. Trying to see if they can put something together this round. I mean, they've come close a few rounds, but they just haven't been able to bring them home. And like, uh, like we were talking about, they've only had one round go in their favor from the T-side on a CT-sided map. Yeah, I mean, it is CT-sided, but it's not this CT-sided, man. I mean, you, you got to be putting up at least, I would say, five rounds. Um, yeah. So to, to, be, to, be, to be stuck here on one, and it's not looking good for this one either. Uh, yeah, I mean, this has been a tough game for sure. But we'll see what they can do. They have a man advantage this round. They're bringing the bomb to the A-bomb side, so let's see if they can do it this time. Nitro's going to be trying to cross into that bomb site. Not able to make it across. They know where the bomb's at. Looking for connector is going to be fierce. Able to take down Cube. And again, another man advantage that VVV Gaming had. Just blown apart here. JVW's got to be careful with that Molotov. Lands right in front of him. And actually, now they're going to be two on one. They don't know where the final guy is, but they're going to smoke off Nom. Thinking that he is in CT spawn. More than likely smoke him anyway. Double will pick up that final shot. He didn't even have to waste the smoke. That'll be 12 to 2 in favor of Quintic as VVV Gaming finally gets around at round 14. So, final round of the half. They need this one bad. Yeah, I mean, the money's actually not that great for Quintic. I mean, yeah, they've been winning all these rounds, but they've been pretty close. I mean, we've seen a lot of 1v1 ish type situations, maybe 2v2. So, a lot of rebuying has taken place through Quintic despite the fact that they've. You know, one, you know, prior to that, the last seven rounds in a row. So this actually means a couple of their guys are not going to have rifles. Well, everyone on VVV except for JVW does. So there's actually a decent shot here for VVV. They at least have a firepower advantage for all intents and purposes. So we'll see if they can put that to use. Final round of this half at VVV Gaming with the gun advantage that Dust was just talking about. They really need to get this third round in their favor, get themselves like a little bit of a safety net here once we go to second half. Mm -hmm. They don't find themselves in trouble right off the bat if they do end up losing a pistol round. Right, exactly. I mean, at this point, if they lose pistol, it, it would be over. Um, they can't convert this round. Even if they 
uh, get to three, it's still a pretty, you know, pretty much the same scenario. This is about just avoiding embarrassment as best as you can, really. Uh, try to make this a game. Give yourself a chance, and it's a great entry there from Q that upper B. This is the first time I've really seen an XQB this entire game, I feel like. Uh, rather than like an eco rush, so we'll see what they can do. They have a five on three, they got the bomb going down. Now they're gonna get it planted. Pierce will step up from the position window, able to take down double. That will make it at least a four on three until Kool Aid hits that shot out of the window. Take down JVW. JVW. Now we have Poland on a hard flank here. Good trades come out inside the bomb site. It's going to be an even two on two. Nitro, you got to look up. Turns just in time, but Fierce knows where Nitro's at. Got him locked in the corner. Nitro's got to make a big play, and Nitro makes it happen. Gets himself two at the end of that, and that'll be a third round for VVV Gaming. I mean, Quintic with such a huge lead. This, ha, ah, with such a huge lead, this is going to be very hard for them to lose it. Yeah, I mean, uh, even if they do lose pistol. I mean, you still have double the points of your opponent. You know, if you lose pistol, you don't get in the anti ecos. I mean, they're, they're at 12 rounds. This is, uh, I mean, yes, it's a TT side of map, but this isn't train. It isn't nuke. It isn't inferno. It's a map that you should be able to put up realistically like five to six rounds, no problem, if you're like a competent team on the map. So if Quintic, you know, are, have any type of skills on Mirage, Terrace, I, this should be a game that, that shouldn't be too difficult to close. Um, like he's gonna have to put together a really, really just almost perfect CT side, uh, including winning a pistol uh, to have any real chance of coming back in this game. So now round 16 is about to go underway. It's the first round of second half here, and uh, VVV Gaming again situation where they need to win this pistol round and then make sure that they don't end up dropping those anti ecos after this because that could be uh, that could be very bad. Yeah, we do see them muscling up a couple of Tech Nines. You saw armor being bought by Fierce and Kool-Aid. They were dropped Tech Nines by uh, Poland and Nom Nom, who picked up a smoke grenade. So they're going to run some type of execute, but they have uh, the, the beefy Tech Nines uh, to use as entries. And that's kind of the, the main difference between their pistol round and what VVV did in the first half. So let's see how this pans out. They're definitely going to run pretty much the same smoke setup and the same execute. GB with a deagle in hand from underneath the balcony, only able to find one shot as uh, Quintic just tearing their way through this A bomb site. They have the man advantage. Cubed had a good chance at tearing down the bomb planter. Couldn't find the shot, had to back up, didn't want to die, and he ends up dying anyways. But will be a four on one now with double working his way up onto what used to be the E box. The stairs now out of connector. He's gonna be one v four. Tries to stand up to hit some shots, but Kool Aid a little too quick. And that's Quintic winning the pistol round or winning both pistol rounds so far. Mm -hmm. They are, uh, they're going to be cruising their way to a T-side victory. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, it's going to be really difficult for VV at this point to, to put anything together to, to hold them off uh, after what we've seen so far. Uh, and that's just a really good pistol round tactic. I mean, if you're going to be purchasing nades anyway for whatever execute you're trying to do, you might as well go ahead and drop the money to give you an upgraded pistol to someone who's bought armor. And that's exactly what Quintic did. They, they used the Tech Nines to, to put pressure on the entries and, and get those entries. Uh, and so, you know, job well done. And now they're going to, you know, do another A execute here. They have some AKs and, and SMGs and fall. There is three at A, so a slight stack to this site. Uh, and we'll see if it can come up with anything. So this is their last rounds. chance. Yeah, they got to make it happen here. Round 17 underway. Winning is about to execute out of the site. They're trying to do what they can here. Nitro finds one before he goes down. FGB with a perfect wow. location, able to get three. And now it's only Fierce left alive. Good thing for him, though. None of the VVV members were able to pick up any of the rifles that have been dropped. So Fierce with a lot of time left on the clock and a lot of room to work with. And he does have one smoke as well, so that can maybe help him get some type of bomb plant. He knows there's one CT spawn, and he smoked that player off. Uh, so he could actually plant default here, but they could also just bottom him in and all press him, and he will just try to go for the kill. Can't blame him. It's going to be very hard to get a bomb plant. They can easily just coordinate a push on you uh, and, and it trade you out. So, I mean, he kind of had to go for the frag there. It didn't work out. So well done from PvV. Uh, keep themselves alive. FGB was really the key player there. Just, he was playing a spot that just didn't get checked uh, by Quintic on that execute, and he made him pay for it. So it's a little bit of life out of VVV now, but how far can they actually take it? That, that's kind of the real question. Yeah, if Quintic's able to just turn this thing back around, get an eco of their own off here against VVV Gaming, that's going to put VVV Gaming in some huge trouble. And, uh, I, I mean, maybe they can hold on here from the CT side, but Quintic has just been shooting so very well. And they just mow down. JVW takes on Kool-Aid and Wrath up in the B apartments. And Storm Molotov slowing them down. 
Yeah, and they are gonna get this bomb plan actually with that smoke cover, and they had a three on four. Fierce getting a couple kills here, but Nitro finally cleans it up. So VVV are going to be able to secure themselves another round. But with that bomb plant, Quintic have, you know, enough cash to be able to make a purchase next round. Unless they just want to be super conservative and, and save again. Uh, maybe to get, you know, even more utility. Maybe get an op if they want one. And they certainly have the, the breathing room to do that. They don't have to force a purchase here. But you are going to go ahead and see them go ahead and gleal up on a couple of guys and, and get the AKs and just go ahead and buy out now. They, I guess they want to win this thing as quick as they can. Yeah, they definitely don't want to risk staying on this map for longer than they have to because the longer you stay on it, the more risk that you take that they're actually able to mount a comeback and uh, maybe get into your heads a little too fast and hurt yourselves going forward. So, Quintic trying to force the buy now to prevent VVV Gaming from getting a six round. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to see Quintic staging up. They have two Palace, the bomb at Upper V. This looks pretty fake to me. Like, like, like they're gonna throw some type of fake. Like the way they're positioned to palace like that, it, it seems like it's gonna be some type of like weird double fake or something. I'm not really sure exactly, but it's kind of weird to see double palace with no presence mid, no presence A ramp. But now you see them falling off of palace and getting into more default positions, I suppose. So still not quite sure what they're what we're thinking with this, but we'll have to see how as it develops. <laughs> So now, into that round 19, we're going to have possibly, and uh, they're still going to try and throw this towards A. And yeah, it looks like they're going to, they're going to have Nom throwing it from the B halls, throwing a smoke towards mm -hmm. that A bomb site to try and make it look like they are trying to take this from A. But VVV with two players over there towards the B halls. Let's see if they just hold here or if they try and rotate someone over. They're going to rotate one player over out of B, actually two players. And so this might get sold really well here. Really well done. Until they realize that it's actually going to be at the new bomb site, but double in a great position. Sprays down one, tries to get all three. Did a lot of damage, but it wasn't enough. Fierce will go down trying to go on the rotate. Now we're going to have a two on one here with Poland and Nom left alive versus Cubed, who's rotating up the catwalk. Yeah, we'll see if Cube can do it here. He needs to win this round, obviously. The pressure's on. Paulin is going to get that bomb play. They know exactly where he is. He's pushing up the catwalk. Paulin is waiting for him with the glue. He gets taken out. Cube has a chance now. He's got a huge health advantage on Nom. Yeah, Nom very low on HP. Nom has to hit this shot basically right off the bat. Because uh, he gets tagged and all. That's going to do it. So Cubed will be able to get a six round for VVV Gaming. And a 3k for himself after he gets that defuse. Yeah, really well done by Quintic as far as what they actually did. I mean, there was like a crazy bait setup going on Upper B where you had a guy like, you know, locked in the close corner with the guy playing top van to bait them in. And with those smokes at A and the pressure they put there, it actually forced VVV off of that setup. And they didn't defend B really well at all. They relied on a, on a big retake and honestly just a really big clutch there. I think that was Q who got that one versus two. Uh, so really well done there by him. But I mean, Quintic, the fact that they got that close, it has to be unsettling uh, if you're VVV. Uh, that they're they're on the brink going on these rounds. They're, they're, they're nail biters. You know, you're not winning clean rounds yeah. on VVV just yet. So. Pressure's definitely still on VVV, despite the fact that they've put together a few rounds here and there, at least, you know, giving themselves a chance to come back. So into round 20, VVV Gaming able to get some rounds in a row now. It's going to be three in a row for them that would like to make it four. And uh, Quintic, though, just going to be on an eco, essentially. They got some head armor coming out. They got pistols going out. Three players with head armor, two with body armor. And then everybody with upgraded pistols on the uh, Tech 9 buy, all except for Kool Aid, who's going with just a P250. Yeah, so, I mean, they're just looking to force up what they can. Maybe try to get another bomb plane here at B. JBW does have that Mag 7 up close, but he falls, and so this bomb is making it in. They get the kill as well on the first rotator, so this is pretty devastating for BDD. Even if they win this round, this has been costly. Uh, so even if they win the rounds like Dust is saying here, but they lose a ton of players, it's going to control their economy because they have to continually rebuy every round. And the pickup by Poland right there. And uh, we actually had FGB trying to make his way out. Same with Cube. They both go down. Fierce now knows, or Wrath now knows where Nitro is. And Nitro so extremely lit, and Wrath ends up getting it. So Quintic will steal away an eco wow. round, get three guns out of it nonetheless, including an op. And they're going to be up 14 to 6, and VVV Gaming is in trouble now. Yeah, I mean, because some of those rounds have been quite close. I mean, remember, Cube had to win a 1 versus 2 just the round before. And so that means money was quite low with all the rebind taking place. And so at that point, you have three guys on pistols for VVV. This couldn't be much worse, to be honest. Um, you can't lose rounds like that, man. Not when you're trying to make a comeback. Just losing to a bunch of pistols on an upper B rush. That's pretty, pretty crucial.
And uh, now Quentic, they're in such a good position here. I mean, Vivi doesn't have much to work with this round for sure. Even next round, it's not looking too good, man. I mean, yeah. $1,900 coming in next round. Most money they have is 1150 Yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah, they're definitely in double save territory if they were in the middle of the game. But they're down to the end of it, so they're going to have to save here. Or, excuse me, never mind, not save. They force bot onto this one, fighting for the win, not the tie. But uh, if they can't win this, they're going to be in trouble going into the final, or what could be the final round of this map. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, this is uh, their, their next round is going to be just as bad as a buy here. At least they have a couple of rifles this time around, but not able to put one to use there. Cube already out. Can't be collected. What the heck is this, man? Oh, that is dirty. Ooh. That is dirty. Yeah, Poland able to find the final two frags of the round. That gives Quintic match point here. They're going to be in round 22 trying to end this game going against VVV Gaming with almost no economy to work with. So Pistol Armor will be coming out from VVV Gaming. It's going to be tough for them to actually keep this going. Yeah, I think uh, I think we might be saying sayonara here to VVV in the next you know minute and 42 seconds or so uh, based on what I've seen so far this game and based on what they have to work with this round. They, they've struggled to even win straight up gun rounds now. They're just forced to try to make things work with head armor and pistol. As uh, Quintic playing it pretty safe here. Looks like they're trying to do that same A fake they, they ran a few rounds ago. So, let's see how it works out. Quintic again going to do that A fake. Oh, they actually blew it up. They take down JVW as FGB finds one on Nom. And Nitro will get a trade out there on Nom. Double with one of his own also. But the bomb will be getting planted in the B bomb site. It was even for a second until we just lose double at the end of that. So, it's going to be cubed in Nitro. Last two CTs left alive here. They're going to be uh, 2v3 trying to make this retake. They're both coming out of the kitchen. And at this point, Quintic knows where at least one of them is. Now they know where both is as Cube forces his way into the bomb site. He's got Fierce right in front of his face. Fierce doesn't even realize how much damage he just sprayed out. Now his teammate spots him. It's going to be one versus two to keep his team in this. And Fierce will close the door. Quintic wins 16-6 to over VVV Gaming. And man, that was a rough, rough outing for VVV Gaming. Yeah, I mean, there's really not even much to talk about there. It was just pretty much a, a dominant performance there from from Quintic. I mean, you look at the first half, EVV had a nice, you know, map control at times, you know, getting mid control, being able to get executes on the A bomb site, but always struggling to hold off the retake. There were a couple of rounds where they had botched smoke, so it was really easy for guys to peek through and get kind of some free kills off the, the, the gaps and smokes and stuff like that. So. I mean, for a team that was running very heavy A executes to be missing your smokes that often, when that's like the only tactic you're running, that's not really good news. It's kind of failed to play properly as a team in that regard. And then once you flip halves, I mean, they, they were already down, what, 12 to 3. Uh, yeah. You know, when you lose pistol, it's pretty much a done deal. Um, so, yeah, yeah that, that's pretty much all there really is to say. Just uh, kind of a dominant display there from Quintic. He didn't really have much for us tonight. And that'll do it for just our main game tonight, guys. Remember, after this one, we got Team Liquid versus Luminosity Gaming. It's going to be a best of two in your uh, Sevo MLG Season 8 Pro League. As we try and wind down the Pro League, uh, the end of this or through this week, we'll be winding yep. it all the way down and figure out who's going to be going to land for North America and Europe besides our two invited teams. And, uh, yeah, that'll be coming up shortly here, guys. But right now, we're going to throw it to a break. As soon as the players are ready with vetoes, we're going to go into the veto process and uh, we'll get that thing live as soon as the teams are ready. So bear with us. We're going on break. We'll be back. <laughs> 